what's up guys this is fancy and today i'm going to be answering some questions to do with biomedical science the course that i studied and medicine so somebody called daniela watched my video and then she sent me a few questions so this video is for you and anyone else it might help i guess a little background about me so I did study biomedical science for three years. I did the course initially with the intention of going on to do medicine. However, I decided not to do medicine after that course or during that course. I'm just gonna answer the questions that she sent anyway because it will give you a little bit more insight as to why I made that decision. Okay, so first question is, how are you planning on preparing for medicine whilst completing your degree? The way I would have answered this if I was planning on still doing medicine is if you want to do medicine whilst you're studying an another course, make sure you get your work experience. Work experience is the most important thing. So if you're doing medicine, we're obviously talking work experience in a hospital setting, in a care setting, anything in the healthcare um, sort of field. It's easy to get a job as a healthcare assistant where you're working with elderly people or as a support worker, I've done both. Look up potential universities you'd like to study medicine at and you'll notice 100% of the time that they're partnered up with the hospital. So all you need to do is go to that hospital website and apply for a work experience placement. Use people that you know, your contacts, um, if you know anyone like family friends or I don't know even your neighbor if your neighbor's a doctor or a nurse just um, You know just speak to them about it. Just be like hi Is it possible for me to like come to your workplace and shadow you for a week or two? Just you know so you get um, a feel of what it's like to actually work in that field also you could easily go to your GP Everyone has a GP, so go to your GP at the reception, you can always ask. It, it is really hard to find work experience in a hospital sometimes because they get so many applicants. So you can do other things. If you live near a nursery, you could always go there and volunteer. Where are you thinking of applying to in regards to which entry exams? I'll say with entry exams, it differs slightly for each uni. So some unis want you to do the BMAT test and the other ones, I think Oxford and Cambridge, want you to do the UK CAT. How have you found doing a degree in biomedicine where you want to be doing medicine? So how have I found doing biomedical science even though I wanted to do medicine? The first year of biomedical science and the first year of medicine for medicine students is the same. So if you were to go to St George's or, I don't know, other universities that offer biomedical science and medicine, you'll find that in first year you have your lectures with medical students. After first year, that's where it gets a little bit more different and maybe they specialise more. Biomedical science is more on the research side of things, whereas medicine is more... Like when you're working as a doctor, you it's more hands-on and there's more patient interaction. So if you graduate, for example, and you become a biomedical scientist, you um the reality of your job is that you're going to be working in a lab, either doing research or working on laboratory samples. So you could be working in a department where you're dealing with blood samples, urine samples, or fecal samples or you're working with microorganisms, or you're working with bacteria, and it's all research and it's all very behind the scenes. So I can say the biggest difference between biomedical science and medicine is that biomedical science feels more like behind the scenes, whereas medicine, you're like up there, you're the person that patients see. How do you feel biomedical science has improved you as a person to now be applying for medicine Alternatively, has it in any way discouraged you from applying to medicine? So I would say the way that biomedical science prepared me if I was to study medicine was the work ethic and um, knowing how to meet deadlines. You need to read a lot and you need to um, kind of write a lot as well. 
So in terms of work ethic and all that technical theory stuff, it's definitely prepared me for that. It would have prepared me for that if I was going on to do medicine. When I was studying biomedical science, I was just like, do you know what? I don't want I don't want to do three years of this course and then go on and do an additional five years or four years, because you know they cut off one if you do it post-grad. But I was like, okay, on the off chance that I don't get the post-grad, I'm still gonna have to do it for like five or six years on top of my three-year degree. And I was just thinking about life life and I don't know because it's so full-on you don't really get time to yourself and I want to explore the world I want to travel I want to and I know you can prioritize once you I don't know if, if you're very good with your time management you can still do all those things but you are limited already because of how much time and effort you have to put in to begin with. Another thing with medicine is it's lifelong learning. The learning never stops. You're always going to have to know about the latest treatments, about the latest research, about the latest medical interventions. It's just you have to be somebody that loves to learn. It's, it's very full on but if you're going to do it, you have to do it with your heart in it like 100%. You can't just do it for the money or do it because your parents want you to do it or do it because your friends are doing it. You, it's one of those things where it's a personal choice. Like it has to be a personal decision that I wanted to specialise and become a paediatrician. And to me, because I loved working with children, or I love working with children, I thought it would be like this happy thing, like I come in, I'm the doctor, and like the kids are there, and I like make them laugh, and like I um, just take care of them, but I forgot the most important thing is a hospital is for people who are sick, you're going to see kids that are bedridden, kids that are, you know, kids with... Um, incurable diseases so I kind of forgot about that aspect of the job that you have to deal with sick kids, dying children and you know that side of the job is it takes a certain character to do that sort of thing. I'm not trying to discourage anyone from specialising and becoming a paediatrician but just be aware that, you know, that's the reality of the job. It's not all glitz and glam. Um, yeah, you'll see some really awful and sad things. So you have to be prepared for that. And actually, that's one thing I ignored when I was in work experience. Because people would ask, you know, like you're a young child and they see you in work experience, shadowing them. And they'll ask, like, oh, so where do you see yourself going? Like, why do you want to become a doctor and whatever? Like, what do you want to specialise in? Do you know? And I would tell people, yeah, I want to be a paediatrician. And they were like, do you know what? A lot of people say that, but once they actually study medicine, they choose to specialise in something completely different. Even in biomedical science, we learn that actually. Um, with paediatrics, you have to, because you're working with babies, when you're taking a blood sample, for example, their their veins are a lot smaller, everything is smaller. So you you'll be working with micro micro samples and you have to get the job right the first time. You can't keep like injecting a little baby and trying to get more samples, tissue samples or blood samples. It's just very uncomfortable and distressing. It's a very delicate area of medicine or biomedicine. Are there any parts of your degree that you dislike learning about because they're a step too far away from medicine? They were um, modules that I just did not like, I had no interest in. Um, I don't like genetics very much. Um, I liked some of the practicals because the lecturers made it fun and interesting, but I didn't really like... There are some modules that I just didn't like. and. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but some of them aren't related to medicine. What topics are you thinking of exploring for your third year project? 
my project was based on human physiology, nutrition and hematology. So I did um, a study on exercising males and I was looking at taking supplements and exercising and how that affects oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is basically something that happens naturally in our bodies but it can cause tissue damage and cell damage if it's excessive. Oh, this cold is really getting to me now but I'm gonna wrap up soon. Um, so yeah that's what I did for my third year research project and I really enjoyed it. It was fun but um, a little bit stressful especially since I worked with participants. Yeah I do have a video I think where I showed a little bit about it and then she said thank you. Obviously you don't have to answer any or all of them if you're busy but I really appreciate it. There you go I answered all of them. I guess my top tip through all of this is just do your research, make sure you know what you're getting into definitely. Second tip is have a plan B. One regret that I had is I didn't get work experience in the field that in the subject that I was studying. So some biomedical science courses actually offer a year in industry. So that's like a year as part of the course where they give you a year's work experience. So you actually get to work in a lab. And then when you graduate, you have your year experience. But for me, I was like, why am I gonna do four years and then do medicine for like another four or five years? So for me, I didn't pick that placement option, which I kind of regret because now, in terms of plan B, you need that work experience to apply for a job to do with your course, basically. I hope these answers have been helpful and I hope I didn't discourage anybody. If you've chosen to study biomedical science or medicine, I wish you guys all the best and I really hope that you enjoy it. Um, things will get hard, but keep pushing if that's what you really want to do you'll find the motivation, you'll find the strength from somewhere. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.